Ever wondered if electronic hand wheels are really worth adding to your lathe? Today, I'll show you my full setup from design to real machining and give you an honest verdict. Hi guys, I'm Alfonso. I've been an engineer in the space industry for more than 40 years and now I'm sharing my passion for CNC hobby machines. In this video, I'll show you how I implemented electronic hand wheels on my lathe. Uh, you'll find free drawings in the description if you want to replicate it. For the hand wheels, I reused a uh, design I made years ago for another project. They're made from aluminum with a brass counterweight for perfect balance. The handles are simple off the shelf parts. Inside the bearing block I use circlips, this makes the support easier to manufacture. A short piece of silicon tubing works perfectly as a flexible coupling. And the friction, you can adjust it just by tightening the front screw. For the electronic lead screw, I chose this model because it can control two external hand wheels. Here's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Here's a simple model of the Z-axis implementation. You can see the motor mount on the left and the ball mount adapter in the middle. Manufacturing the Z-axis parts wasn't too difficult. I had to design my own uh, motor mount and ball mount adapter because off-the-shelf components didn't fit my lathe. The rest of the process was pretty straightforward.
Next, I made two gears for the encoder installation. I chose aluminum, light, easy to cut, and strong enough for this purpose. Here you can see the gear being cut in module one. The two gears and the support plate are ready. For the motors, I went with closed loop steppers on both X and Z axes. They're more accurate in micro stepping mode and run cooler. The X axis setup was shown in my previous video. Now I'm removing the apron, the lead screw, and all the gear train. Here's the final view, only what's needed remains. Time for final integration. I reused the existing M6 holes to mount an interface plate. Aligning it took a few reworks, but I got a perfect fit. Here's the full Z axis setup. And the encoder with its two gears. One of the best things about this build is the hand wheel ergonomics. It feels great to use. I also 3D printed covers for the motor couplers. And uh, a case for the electronics and safety buttons. The moment of truth. In manual mode, the hand wheels feel smooth and precise. It's like using a manual lathe, but without backlash.
to really um, evaluate the system, I decided to machine a real part. It's a component for my next project, uh, an RC turbine. This part uh, requires tight tolerances, so it's a great test. Here's automatic turning. Now automatic tapering. Um, and finally, left hand threading. Final result, part accepted. Finally, my honest conclusions, the hand wheels are very ergonomic and give me excellent control. The electronic lead screw upgrade really improves my lathe's capabilities. Tapering, threading, roughing, all much easier now. But there are a few drawbacks. There's no force feedback. You can't feel how hard the tool is cutting. You also need a short learning period. And um, uh, yes, I ruined one part during threading. But overall, my honest judgment is, is very positive. I definitely recommend this upgrade. I uh, hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.